what's going on YouTube today we're going to be installing the um, cold side pipe for a 2019 Honda launch of sport yes um, I will be showing you guys real quick where it's at what you got to take off etc etc just remove disconnect the battery disconnect the battery and um you know i'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit real quick i don't got much time because it's about to rain i just got out of work and i still got to do a lot of things but if you do have the the stock intake just remember you got to remove this uh the the box right here for the intake you got to remove that out the way i have six element intake i can work around it it's fine all i did was remove the filter that is it the air filter is gone that's it so just letting you know it has uh let me show you so it has these little this, these little covers it has these little covers that go obviously in each clamp that you see covering the screw get this out of here just pull them off and that's it all you do is pull them off with pliers or whatever so you got one down there let me see if i can zoom in all right so that one right there this one and then it's gonna be this one right there all right so you remove those just remember you gotta unclip from here because that's gonna be holding the wire for the Mac uh, solenoid all right um, it's uh, it's pretty much common sense unplug this but just remember before you mess with anything disconnect the battery all right um remove the sensor from here you're gonna see a little bit more of a mess on mine because i got the aftermarket mac uh solenoid um that i'm messing with um but I, ever since i installed the mac solenoid and the lap 3 ecu tuned i started having a lot of hesitation boost lag and everything and just would not hold the power down at all so that's why i am installing the torque motorsport cold pipe with the turbo smart v port blow valve just got it in the mail today and i gotta remove that so yeah that's pretty much it gotta remove that and that remove that there remember this to unplug this if you still have it on the stock intake if you have it connected and um, pretty much that's it. I mean, I unclip this from here. It has like little, you know, little clips that go in there. Then there's another one that go towards right here somewhere. So you just pull them out. But it's, it's pretty easy. All right. I mean, once, once you start doing it, you're going to see it's pretty easy. All right. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you real quick where it's at. I will show another video with it installed already on there um, and I will let you guys know how the car runs and I'll put a list of all the aftermarket parts I've done I've installed to the car the car all it has right now is just bolts on all right but it doesn't have much um, nothing serious but I'll, I'll put it on the on the on the link right there like I'll put everything there all of all the parts that it has I'm tired. I had a long day today. I'm just trying to get this done before it starts raining and then, you know, continue my day from there. But anyways, guys, um other than that, that is pretty much it. Stupid thing. All right, guys. So, um I'll show you guys how it looks after. All right? All right, guys. Peace.